after Porto Escondido, we jumped across to this sweet little bay called Honeymoon. Um, Honeymoon's on Isla Danzante. And yeah, it's got a cute little hike, but really the highlight was this absolutely sweet anchor spot that I got. Uh, the overall bay got a little crowded, um, but my little spot did not. Heading south from Isla Danzante, we, I got my spinnaker out. I knew it'd be a few days of downwind, so decided let's get the spin out, see what it looks like. Um, the first spinnaker run took us to Agua Verde, which is quite a pretty little beach and a pretty funny cruising community. Uh, several of the boats stay there all year long. There's a guy living in a shack on the beach. Uh, one of the cruising boats has a satellite TV set up uh, with a dish just chilling on a, on shore. Uh, in Agua Verde, there were some really cool fishing going on. So watch the, the next door neighbor catch um, a Pacific Barracuda or Mexican Barracuda, which is very different than the Barracuda we have in the islands in the Caribbean. Um, and watch some Dorado come all the way into the bay to eat the bait fish in there. From Agua Verde, we jumped south, spin sailing each time. Spent one night in Los Gatos. Checked out the cool rocks, went on a fun hike with the parents. Los Gatos has pretty unique red rocks that are unlike most of the other rocks in the Sea of Cortez and uh, a pretty stunning cliff hike that you can uh, hike up and overlook the, the sea. South from Los Gatos took us to yeah. uh, Salinas is the anchorage, um, and a really great day fishing. Man, I lost two lures, but Look we caught the first Dorado of the fish. trip, and probably five or six Bonito, none of which we kept to eat because, uh, well, Bonito. Now this is a wonderful sight. After three and a half, maybe four Bonito today, that is a mahi. And aren't they beautiful? From Salinas to Isla San Francisco, uh, both mom and dad and I ended up catching a chiro. So freezers got stocked with delicious fish. They call them Sierra mackerel here. Um, on Isla San Francisco, we went to the Agate Beach and continued our rock collecting. So we have here for display some pristine Isla San Francisco agates. A lot of fun to collect. Extremely semi-precious. From San Francisco, we sent it all the way to La Paz. One long spinnaker sail. About halfway through, I started getting cellular. Went up the mast to, to get the cellular. Uh, first cellular in a week or so. Um, caught a nice Dorado to keep adding to our fish stores. And stopped for the night just outside of La Paz at a bay called Pichilingi. La Paz is the cruiser haven of Baja. Uh, it's where the... Baja Haha, a large rally down from California. Pretty much, uh, about half of them stopped there. Uh, and then to add to that, there's a great deal of liveaboards. I got my gringo hat, ready to do some gringo shit in the gringo town. Um, the marinas in La Paz, particularly Marina La Paz, make it really accessible to be a liveaboard. We spent about a week doing chores, watching Michigan games, refilling with water and, and fuel, um, and just kind of enjoying La Paz. <laughs>